Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be planting some pomegranates. So I started these from seed on January 24th. Now, the seeds had already sprouted, and I'll go through kind of what the process was once I did that, but they were put in these pots January 24th. So, it's been four months, and they're already getting kind of big, uh, so I think it's time to transfer them into a bigger pot. So what I have here are some pomegranate seeds that I put into a baggie with a paper towel, moist paper towel, and I stuck it above my oven for a couple days. So, they sprouted. It took, I say a couple days, it took like two weeks, but they finally sprouted. So I'm gonna put a couple, I've got two here that I'm gonna, I've got two containers here that I'm gonna plant these in and make sure they're upright. I've got quite a few of these sprouts, so I'm gonna put a couple in each container just to ensure that one of them will grow. Now the kids like pomegranates and they're kind of pricey in the store, so figured after us getting a pomegranate, we could try to sprout our own and see how it goes. Now, it probably will take years before they can produce fruit, but it's a fun little project for the kids. Because it is a fruit tree, they take a while to actually do anything. So it's probably gonna be a month or two until I bring you guys back to show you the progression. I did this with some apple seeds a while back, but I never showed planting them. So I figured I'd kind of start off here early. So I have these two pots. I believe they're like four gallon, three or four gallon. And these had some peaches in them when I bought the peaches, but I've since put the peaches in the ground. But I kept these. It's a good idea to keep these. These are expensive to buy, so just keep them and they'll be good for planting other stuff. Here are the pomegranates. And I put two seedlings in each one of these pots just to make sure that I got good sprouting. And both of them did fine. So I could pinch off one right now and just keep the better of the starts. However, with the transplanting process, it's possible to damage the roots. So if I damage the roots of one, I want the other one to be able to kind of grow. So I'm going to keep both of them for now, for another week or two. And then I will decide once I see that they're growing well, then I will go ahead and then pinch off the sprout that looks the worst. So I'll keep the best start then. So let's get to this. I've got some potting soil here. This is bought stuff. Uh, it's just miracle Grow potting soil. It's decent stuff. So let's go ahead and fill this, these pots here. Now, pomegranates grow really well in my area. They're one of the few fruit trees that actually does very, very well. Like I said, I started these from seed. You can buy them, but I figured why, if I can start them from seed. Now, it'll take a little longer for them to produce fruit, quite a bit longer. It does take a while. But there we go. So I've got these mostly filled up. I'll add a little more if I need to. So we're just going to get a hole started in there. Same thing with this one. So one of the main reasons why I'm transferring these from these little pots to these is to be able to get the root development going because there's not much room for the roots to go here and it's time to get them in a larger pot and make sure they don't get root bound in a small little container. So one thing I am going to add is this bone meal. Uh, bone meal helps with root development. It's almost all phosphorus. And we're gonna do about a quarter handful per pot here. It's just gonna help kind of give them a little kickstart and a little boost. All right, let's see how these roots are doing. Oh yeah, look at that. There's good roots. Now you can see they're down below. There's not a whole lot up top because these are trees. So they're gonna send roots deep like most trees and there's just no room for them to go there so this is the time that needs to be transplanted so i got in the ground i'm gonna make sure i don't have any around the crown of the plant there i don't want any dirt there so that one's in the ground let's get the other one a little bit less but you can see that the roots are all at the bottom here and that's pretty much it guys now we got to water it but i'm not going to put any other fertilizer in it this miracle Grow potting mix has some nutrients in it already, so maybe in about a month I'm going to come in and then water it with some water-soluble fertilizer. Maybe two months. I might wait two months, but that's, that's pretty much it. I'm also going to, once these grow up a little bit, see how they do, and then I'm going to come in and mulch it as well. I'll put some hardwood bark mulch right around it, and that'll help keep all the moisture in in these pots and keep me from having to water on a daily basis, but for now, I will water 
pretty regularly. So let's bring these over to where I'm gonna keep them. And right now, this is kind of like, I gotta clean all this up. I've got some plants growing over, uh, overgrown back here, but I'm pretty much using this area as my kind of nursery, putting all my trees right along here, anything in pots before I'm ready to transplant out in the garden. And so that's where these are gonna go. I'm gonna scoot this one over here and I'll put the other one there. All right, right there. So now I've got those two. They'll get a fair amount of sun, but not too much. In the late afternoon when it's the sun is really bad, really brutal in the summer, this does get shaded slightly. Okay, and that, that's why I've got my nursery thing going here because I want to keep these small little trees from getting too much sun and getting burnt. Uh, like I said, that late afternoon, so they're still getting eight to 10 hours of sun, but that late afternoon by four o'clock, they'll start getting shaded because I've got this big tree here and the sun comes up over this way. So right around four o'clock, this area starts getting shaded. So that's good for these. Excuse the mess, like I said, I gotta come through, pull all these out and cut back all these. I just haven't had a chance to, I've got so much going on. Let's get these watered, all right? So we wanna give them pretty healthy water. Wanna make sure that that water sinks all the way to the bottom. And we're kind of laying them over at the moment. We'll stand them back up. Once they get strong enough, they'll they'll keep up on their own. But for now, they're really small little plants. Oh, and I almost forgot one thing. I need to get a stake in here because I don't want to put a stake in later and have it damage the roots. So let me get one. Let's get these stood back up. So I've got to put the stake in now because I could damage the roots if I do it later. Now, they don't need the support at the moment, but I do need to put that stake in. We'll do one there and one there, just to make sure we're not damaging those roots because those roots are gonna then fill out this pot and I don't wanna stick a stake in and break off some roots and then damage the plants. I'll bring you guys back on another video in probably a month or two and see how these have grown. We should see some explosion of growth, probably not right in the beginning because they're gonna be working on their roots. So they're not gonna really be working on growing leafy greens. But after about a month or two, once their roots kind of get to the point where they're happy, then they'll start exploding with growth with the stems and the, the leaves, and we'll see some growth. So in about probably two months, I'll bring you guys back in another video. We can see this progression. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.